Hey, what's up guys? It's Hovering Banania. So the drop shot update's finally out and I've managed to get my hands on one of the new turbo crates. So let's go through the contents. Alrighty. Kicking things off we have the breakout Hiwa. Uh, it's got some flowers on it. It's got a little koi fish. I think that's an octopus or some kind of weird looking bird on the top. But yeah, pretty pretty average looking decal. We got the kawaii, which I think is probably my favorite decal on this in this new crate. It's got a really well drawn anime chick on the front here. Strangling a cute little monkey up there. He looks happy though. And that weeb chick over there. Strangling the monkey again. And I think this is like Battle Bunny Riven. Looks a lot like her. Battle Bunny Riven from uh, League of Legends. So yeah, I think this is overall a really cool, really cool decal. Then we got the Octane Griffin. That's probably my, probably my least favorite decal from this new crate. Like it just looks terribly drawn. Like it's a bunch of low quality clip art thrown together, and they just made this. Made this evil demon. All right, let's move on to the Dominus Suji. There's also I'm not, not a big fan of this one either. Like some crazy writing here on the side, some Japanese. This hood looks very bland. So overall, not a nice decal in my opinion. And the Takumi Aqueous. Uh, if you maybe change the color scheme, like some blue that matched each other like a dark blue and a light blue maybe it will look a bit better but it just looks like it's like messed oil all over it <laughs> with this black paint so yeah there's quite a few that I'm like not fans of and the octane snake skin so they disappoint me again with uh, another snake skin in the crate like I'm getting tired of seeing all these things uh, hopefully the next one doesn't doesn't have like an endo snake skin. Like enough with the the snake skins, please. Okay, ne next we got the Xeno Splash, and this is one of my favorite items in the crate. Uh, it's like a mix between a crazy boost that isn't like overbearing, um, like the proton, the dark matter. Those all sound like super loud, and you you play for a few hours and you just you get annoyed with that loud sound. So I, so I quite like this uh, Xeno Splash. I don't think it will come in painted versions, so it's a bit disappointing. Like I love painted ones of this, but what can you do? Next up is the Septum wheels. Uh, our new very rare wheels. Um, I think these are pretty average. Maybe like black, white or crimson would look super cool. But uh, right now these plain ones aren't doing it. They're super bright though, which is... Which is quite cool. So I'm interested to see what the painted versions look like. But I imagine they just dropped to like an average price. Like the, the Chakram price and... Well Spiralis is actually doing pretty well at the moment so... Yeah, let's move on. The Breakout Vector. Now it's another nice, nice decal. I think it's really clean. Simple, it's just pulsing through the side here. Yeah. I think it's a really solid skin. It's just a pity that it's for the breakouts, like, it's one of my least favorite cars, I just find it so square. Like, I wish they made this for the, the Dominus, I'd consider maybe using it. But a pretty cool, pretty cool decal. Next up is the furry paint. Um, and the weebs will love this, obviously. Um, if you look at the side here, it actually looks like it's 3D, which I think is pretty cool. If you mix this up with uh, the Kawaii, you maybe have a funny car. Some cat ears on there as well. Yeah, but I, I think for like a normal player, this this thing looks pretty ugly. Like I would never use this. Looks pretty gross. Okay, the Tashion boost. Uh, if I saw this in game, I'd probably think it was a daughter stream. But this like sound is just way too much for me. Like it, it almost sounds like a lawnmower is going crazy. I imagine the, the painted versions probably look cool but 
I'd probably not use this just because how loud the, the damn thing sounds. Next up is the Endo car. Uh, a little disappointed with how it turned out in game. I feel the screenshots made it look a lot cooler. In game, yeah, it looks a bit too, like, I don't know, fat, I'd say. Maybe if they dropped it down a bit. I was expecting quite a lot more. What I do like is um, the flame shoot out of the engine up here. Yeah, I think that is it's damn cool. That's, that's what I really like about this car, but other than that, I think it's actually average. Hopefully I can get one and try it out in game. Yeah, so let's move on to the exotic wheels. And this one's the roulette, because it's got that little spin to it, I guess. Uh, I find these, like, really off-putting, just based on how crazy they are. I uh, imagine over a few weeks they'd probably like fall to average to below average like I uh, can't imagine many people liking these just way too much going on next up is the Kalos wheels these were also in the drop shot update page um, not as crazy as the roulette they're also a bit uh, funky a bit too much going on for me as well uh, I really wish we got like a more simple Exotic wheel. Been getting a lot of crazy ones, like these two new ones, the Zombas, you know, the Auras, they're all pretty crazy, but not that many like photons that are just nice and clean. So, um, yeah, I imagine the white and black ones are still gonna be super expensive. Yeah, let's, let's move on. Then we got the mystery decal, got it in a web page. So here is the, I think this one's the, what's this, the Tigro? I know it's the Tora. Uh, this is quite an underwhelming one. Like, there's barely any, any animation on it. You'd like, if you saw this, you'd probably think it was like a very rare decal or something. And I guess it's like the black market for weebs because it's got like fur on it and stuff. But uh, animation is just so so bland. Uh, a lot of people are complaining about these new ones as well. I'll show you the comments. This new one is the I think it's called the Twenty XX. It looks like a slipstream with the lines going over it, but it's like like slipstream on on cocaine or something. This just has way too much going on for it. So it's like I'm very like <laughs> disgusted by this monstrosity but you just have a look at some of the, the comments on reddit I'm not too crazy about this black market disappointing disappointed shit ugly f so yeah I'd have to agree with all these people I'm like really disappointed with with these two new black markets so I expect heatwave and hex to to bounce back in a few more keys so that's uh can make some profit guys if you buy some cheap ones I'm sure they're gonna rise now and overall pretty pretty underwhelming crate in my opinion only thing I really liked was the the Kawhi the Xeno Splash Breakout Vector the Endo and the Tashion pretty average not a fan of the rest yeah, and that covers today's video if you enjoyed it make sure you like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.